She's well yeah. done. Hey, We're just saying you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Well, the, you know what, what I'm seeing right now on the screen is that I've, did, uh, I've done 19 sprints. I'm like, really? <laughs> Four hours 40? What is the stat? You know, I, I, f I feel like I've done 175. <laughs> now, you know, another stat is when you save that match point, that was the strongest serve of the match. What were you thinking then? Because watching you on TV, it seems like on those points, seeing your eyes, it's like, there's no way I'm losing that point. I know I'm going to win it. I'm going to smack it there. <laughs> actually, I actually didn't know that it was the strongest serve of the match. That's, uh, that's funny because I mean, you're there, you're down the match point. Actually, I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, I did quite an easy mistake on 30 all. So, I mean, I just try not to overthink it, you know? You know that you need this first serve, but it's not gonna change if you're gonna stand there and just think, wow, I need this first serve or I'm gonna lose. I'm just there, I'm like, uh, where do I serve? And I felt like I was serving a lot down the tee this match. So I was like, he's gonna go there probably, just uh, smash it out wide and uh, it worked. And actually it worked pretty uh, much in the fifth set also in, five, in some moments. Daniel, it's so interesting you say don't overthink it because I always try to, try and tell the people I play with, the smartest players in the world, they don't actually think at all. They just feel the situation. And that's what you did on that match point. Now let's go back to the beginning of the match. What do you think of your performance early on? Were you too passive or was Felix just that good that you couldn't do anything because he looked like he was all over i think like a lot of matches that we see especially which we call a little bit sensations like uh, for example uh, sasha against dennis is is when uh, a player high ranked doesn't play at his best level like you know the best matches that he plays and the other one because well we all know how to play tennis well and felix is an amazing player plays better than usually. Like, I, I played Felix a few times, I watched him on TV. I think today, the first two, three sets, he was playing unreal. Uh, almost, almost no easy mistakes, amazing serve, no double faults. Like, I didn't know what to do. And, um, you know, that's uh, what I said on the court. In the third set, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to make his, uh, his life as tough as possible. I'm gonna fight for every point. I'm gonna try to serve some aces. I'm gonna try to win one set, then maybe two, maybe three, and it worked out. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, you, uh, we interview the winners after each match, and the past few days it's been, I'm destroyed, I'm so dead, you know, they've played five sets, and then I see you and you have so much energy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so different now, actually, I have to say it, it just came to my mind. Are you an alien? <laughs> 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 well, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how it will be Friday. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Now it's adrenaline going through my body. So tomorrow I'm gonna be pretty tired. The most important is now to to recover well and uh, be ready for for the next match. Okay. Good luck, Daniel. Good Thanks. luck. Thank well you. Done. Good Great job. Thank you. Great job. Very good. It's inspiring for all you guys out there that want to do something and want to be the best that you can be. Just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence.